Hey guys, how you doing? Wanna show you a couple things real quick. First, big thank you to Siren High Wind. He hooked me up with the flute film again. I like this thing a lot. You know, it's great to you know protect the blades from rusting. It's I like that. And not only that, it's a great lubricant actually even for the pivots and stuff like that. So like that. Check it out. Check out what he what else he sent me. Bunch of actual uh, shapes wool. That's pretty cool. Never had that. It's so nice on the hand. What I'm actually thinking about doing is maybe if somebody's interested with the knife, I can always throw one of these in, little ziplock, and put the piece of that wool skin and just spray that, uh, or you know, spread that uh, fluid film on it. It's a nice little clean, you know, when you when you use the knife or something or you want to store it, just wipe it with this, and uh, it's pretty neat. So I think some some I'm sure that some people would appreciate. It. I know I would. Got a couple of new things. Ordered some leather sheets from actually from what is it knife uh, knife ships knives ship free. Wanted to see how they fit to my EDC little blades, and uh, really like this one. I'm not sure which model this is. I have to double check it. I think this is the medium size they have. It's perfect for my for my EDC blades fits like super nice it wasn't that expensive if I remember right it was either 25 or 20 dollars check it out it writes in the pocket really really well you know it's a nice gentleman style old school leather pocket sheet I like this a lot it seems like a really good quality you know nice thick leather nicely made looks like good stitching I don't know much about leather so don't take the you know I might be wrong, but to me it looks like a good leather sheets, and uh, you see a little, little uh, flashlight in it, a little knife, and fits in the nut pocket very nicely. So I like it. I'm gonna definitely try to carry this for a little bit, see how I like it. You know, carrying a pocket knife, fixed blade, and the cool thing is that actually when you have it in the pocket, when you grab the knife, the, and this actually kind of hooks up on a, on a ridge of your pocket, you know, on the on the corner of your pocket, so kind of wave, you know, you wave your fixed blade open, that's pretty neat, and I like it, I think it's just like really cool, elegant, classic looking look to it, I just wish it was black maybe, it would be a little nicer with the black light and black knife, but that's not bad, uh, made myself a new one, that's actually one drop on version with the, with the carbon fiber, wanted to try this, this is actually that black from black side carbon fiber this is the peak peak advance crazy the hardest handle material i have ever worked with just insane uh, when i talked to kim from composites craft he said that he thinks they use a uh, nylon resin instead of the regular resin or whatever you know uh, and it really is hard to grind you know send it down very very hard to send down it actually melts on the grinder it was the hardest thing i've ever did for the handle this little thing it looks just like unidirectional carbon fiber so it has a very nice look it's a little more uh, random to it than unidirectional because unidirectional is like perfect spacing you know there's a little more random so I kinda like that but <laughs> man the difference in working with this and with working with unidirectional carbon fiber huge huge difference at least it does look cool so you know in the end of the day I'm still happy that I made this and uh, I like this one. This one is like crazy thin on the taper tank. I don't know what's what has gotten into me with the taper tank. I just like the looks of it, and it's completely unnecessarily on something like this. I just you know I don't know. Sometimes you want to do some unnecessary things just because they look cool. Doesn't render the use of a knife anyhow. It actually makes it lighter, and I like light things, so it makes it actually quite a bit lighter. This and this blade has a plenty of holes in the tank, but it still makes uh, quite a nice difference in the weight. Nice full high convex, actually very nice finish on this, like really, really nice and perfect satin finish. I'm getting there with those finishes. I'm kind of getting it down slowly. So let me know what you think about it. I do like this, I think it's a nice looking handle. But again, it's just the same thing like if you were to use composite scraft unidirectional, except this takes probably three times as long as the unidirectional from them. But came out pretty sweet now. Pretty much the same thing, but th that's the Bowie. That's the thing. I like them both. I think uh, this one actually will go to a friend of mine, good friend of mine.
and I will probably keep this. I mean, there's I can still always make make myself more, like you guys said. It's kind of obvious. I mean, I always say that oh, I'm not gonna sell, I want to keep it for myself. But on the end of the day, you know, if if I can make somebody really happy, letting the, letting them get it, I can always make myself another one. And you guys, if some of you that been around longer, you guys know that I always end up selling selling everything anyway, and I just make myself something new, something else, and move on to the next things. There's no, it's just things. No reason to get really emotionally attached to things. Maybe except the first knife. Yeah, some of you guys were asking. I'm actually ashamed now to show it. After I showed Sebastian's first knife. This is my first full-on custom knife that I ever made. <laughs> I never changed a single thing about it since I made it. I don't want to. It's, you know, it was the first thing. That <laughs> Man, I really feel bad showing it. I mean, it cuts well. It has, it has a pretty low bevel, but it's a thin steel. So it actually, even for such a low bevel... It's still a decent cut, it can it can slice pretty decent. <laughs> so guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're still looking forward to more show videos because there is really plenty of those still coming. So thanks for watching, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.